Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is going to be part two in the ATC card uh, videos that I'm doing. So as you can see, this was from the first video and I will put the link to the first video somewhere up in here that you can click it and somewhere down below. So you can see, you know, what we did. But just to recap very quickly, this is an index card that is cut to two and a half by three and a half, which is your standard ATC card. And I did a background on it which again you can see in the prior video and what I did was just took some standard tape this is just plastic tape it's like a decorative tape you can use uh, painters tape you can use um, duct tape you can use I call it wasabi tape you can use whatever kind of tape you want on the back if you choose um, you don't have to but it makes it a little sturdier and if you are just starting out and wanting to do ATC cards you can definitely use your index card you can use printer paper you can use whatever kind of paper you have you can even build your own paper for the ATC card which I might do a couple video after I finish this kind of series I might show you how to build the ATC card out of paper and whatnot you can use clay you can use fun foam you can use so many things for your base again I talked about that in the first video now, um, again, this is just an ATC card. I did this on it, and I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to move my camera in, but I'm going to show you a few things of what I like to do. Now, um, thinking of themes, okay, um, sometimes you have AT if you just want to make ATC cards to trade, you're not going to really have a theme. Um, you can kind of do what you want to do. If you uh, are joining into groups, my group, All Things Creative, um, Susan Bush, who I mentioned before, who I adore, and she's been a wonderful friend and um, been so supportive and she runs the ATC swaps um, over in our group and um, she'll have themes each month. So each month we'll have a different theme. Um, so if you have a certain theme, think about this, okay? Think about using, you can go to the dollar store. I talked about this before. This is wonderful uh, tissue paper that I got uh, in a random act of kindness. I want to make sure I get names right. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, let's see. Angela Rossetti sent me some. Oh, God, I got so many. Let me see. And I got wonderful backgrounds here. And I have two boxes that I have to, uh, two boxes that I have to open that I just got the other day that I haven't had a chance to open yet, which I'll be doing a video on that in a minute. Um, not in a minute, later. But yeah, so I have these wonderful, uh, Don Robertson sent me some things. So if you see your stuff here, thank you very much. I'm trying to use up all of these stuff that I have here. Um, and these are just so beautiful and I'm going to show you. Okay. So you go to the dollar store and let's say you want to do uh, ATC cards and you want to do a, let's do this. And you want to do like patterns. Do you know what I mean? Like for them all to kind of be generally the same. Let's say you're in a swap and you have to send to three different people. And so that's what you're going to do. So let's pretend like this is our ATC card. On, on, you can see that it's way too big, but it's okay. So here's our ATC card. Okay. And again, let me just show you real quick. I know I got a lot of questions about this. Two and a half inches wide to three and a half inches long, right? So that's how, what your measurements are always going to be. So you have it, you're like, okay, what's my theme? Go to the dollar store. Dollar store is a great place to do. Even if you go to a party store, like Party City and those kind of things, because they always have this kind of stuff on sale. Uh, the craft stores have also uh, paper, you know, tissue paper. Um, sometimes they can be expensive. Sometimes, look, go take your coupon and get it for discounts. And you get like, I've bought leopard ones and all kinds of in different colors. So you can really, you know, it depends on what you want to do. So take your ATC cards. Let's say we have three sitting here, you know, because we have a swap where we have to do three. And in the swaps, it is kind of cool. You don't have to do this, but to send the person who is running the swap an ATC card um, out of, I don't know, out of a little bit of love. So if you're making this, throw another card down and make it and send it to the, it doesn't cost much just to throw the ATC card in an envelope. That's my suggestion. Do you have to do it? No, you don't have to do it. Um, I just think it's sometimes, you know, it's nice to do. Okay, so you have this. So here we go. We're just going to take our paper. Use your glue stick, okay? Let me grab my glue stick, put my arm in there, knock everything over because why not? All right, so I'm just going to take my glue stick. 
And I know you guys probably know how to do this, but there are so many people who are new out there who are new to ATC cards and mixed media. And what I love about me showing you this is that you can even do this in your art journal for your art journal page or for any mixed media that you're trying, you know, that you're, you're making that you want to, uh, you're either nervous to start and you don't like the white backgrounds or you just want to do something different. So you'll just take your tissue paper. All right. You can double it, you know, leave it single, whatever you want to do. Lay it upside down. This is what I do. Now remember, this is your size. All right, go down to the end because this area is quite messy right now. Okay, so I have my mine there. I'm just going to lay my ATC card with my glue right on there. Give it a good push. Push it good. You know how I always like to sing that. And then just cut. I cut a little bit outside the card, and I'll trim it up once. These probably aren't the best scissors to use, but I'm using them. Uh, we're just going to rip. All right. All right, so you do that with all your cards, and look at that great background you have already. Let me fold this off again. I want to be doing a big canvas, and I'm going to use these with that. Okay, so look, we have our first, our background. So imagine you're in a swap, or you want to, I, a lot of people sell their ATC cards for a couple dollars a piece. Um, you can definitely do that too, and you're making a series, okay? So you don't have to make a series, you can just do one. I'm just going to tear some of this extra paper off. You do it, you know, you cut it, you take more time and make it a little bit more professional. So there, here we have our background. Okay, so now we have two different backgrounds. Obviously, this is this needs to be cut to that size. Not going to worry about it right now. So say that you have these. Okay, now what else can you use? Well, there's a lot of things you can use. Let's pretend that's another ATC card. You can do the same thing with pink tissue paper and you can get a plain background to then you can build your layers from. There's this gorgeous, this is wrapping paper and it's beautiful flowers. That's a great background. And you know what else you can do? If you lay this down on your ATC card, you can then um, cut out pieces that, you know, from different paper here and layer it on top with little glue dots and then lay the same piece that you cut out on top of this with a little glue dot and it comes out at you as 3D. It's gorgeous, beautiful. I might, let me know down below if you guys want me to do one of those kind. This is great, uh, shiny, look at that iridescent, beautiful that you can use. Just be uh, cautious, just be aware rather, that when you use a glossy paper, um, you're gonna wanna throw a Mod Podge or a glue or a matte, a very matte white paint or something to that effect on it so it sticks you know anything else you put on it will stick there's this gorgeous paper i got that would make a fantastic background look at that how gorgeous and this is just you know playing around you guys got your jelly prints you have uh paper marble paper this was made this was handmade so i mean you know you want to go dark because you know i love the dark i got these gorgeous uh skulls and i got this big skull and he's not all going to fit on the ATC card. Let me show you, since this is the real side. But I can get his head. I can just do his body. I can just do a hand. There's so many different ways that you can do it. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at things. And then you got gorgeous, like I said, all kinds of different um, backgrounds that you can just use out of tissue. Not just You just don't have to paint like I did. And then I got these gorgeous, which this is kind of what I'm talking about. But you have these gorgeous little um, flowers that you can add on. Uh, what else do we have here? Washi tape. Uh, all these, uh, I mean, look, all these gorgeous flowers you can just add on in different ways. And you can even color these. And then, again, more napkins. Black and white, white and black. You can stripe it. You can do whatever you want. So look at things differently. Uh, when you're out, like I said, napkins, paper, go into your Christmas paper, you know? And if you don't, if you have your wrapping paper and let's say it's from Christmas or you get a, something in the mail or what have you, um, turn it opposite. So the white, you know, the, the lighter side is up because that becomes a background that you put down and then you can build from there. It doesn't have to be Christmas colors, but it just gives you more stability. Okay. So let's do this one first. This is just this. Again, I put the tape on the back. Um, no big deal. I just put it on. It gives it a little bit more uh, 
security, you know, that it won't rip. And it's a little bit, it's okay to be flexible. Now you can see my mistake. When I did the tape, I didn't uh, really push down enough to make it flat, but I don't care. That's just going to add texture to me, so I really don't care. All right, so I got these stencils. I got two of them. They are from Mr. Huey. Let me see if there's a Studio Calico, and they're called Huey's Masks, and this is the Chevron, and um, they also have color mists. So I'm going to try this. And I'm just going to lay this down and I'm going to take some purple paint. You use whatever kind of paint, whatever you have. I'm just going to use this today and see how it works with the stencil. And I'm just going to give it squeezes. I'm going to run it up here. And remember, you don't have to do everything. You know, it doesn't have to be everywhere. You can, but it doesn't have to be. And lift that up. All right. So that was a little wet. You can see that's a little, I don't know, kind of a mushy mush. You know what I mean? You don't get really good uh, coverage with that. Now I'm going to take this. Now I'll cut this down to an ATC uh, size card when I'm done. But what I'm going to do is just lay that down. I'm going to take my brayer or just press it down with your hands. I'm going to get some more of that paint off. And this is going to be our paper where we're going to take everything off. And I got a much better print doing it that way than I did putting it on. And I have more, more paint on here. So I'm just gonna, I'll do this side. I'm just gonna lay it down again and just keep rolling it, get that extra off. So apparently using this stencil, you need a little less paint. And that's kind of where we're at. Okay, so I got that. And again, we'll cut this when we're done. Got to let that dry. And then let's look at a magazine. Now I have, I'm going to show you a few things you can do with the magazine too. I'm going to put these over here. Okay. And I got the Oprah magazine. And I'm just going to go in here. And I'm going to look. I'm just going to move my camera mount. And you just go through and find something that you, that, sparks your interest that makes you, I mean, look, this purple page can be a background as well. Cut it out to the side you need. You've got a great background. Don't think, don't get intimidated and don't think it's harder than it is. The more you do, the more creativity will come out of you. I mean, like, look, this is a lash brush, but we could cut that out and make that a little tree. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to rip that out. And you just kind of keep looking, see if anything hits you. You know, there's jewelry pages. So, you know, you could cut this out, this little flower out. Think about it that way. All kinds of stuff. Sometimes you'll see animals or weird flowers or this. You can use the dots, the little bubbles. Cut them out and you can use that as a background or even as a next layer. Just cut out the whole piece, glue that piece down, and you're going there. You're doing good. You have this, something like this. You can cut that out, make that your background. Look at all the colors you can pull from it. I mean, there's so many things that you can do. Look at these. Oh, there's a lot I'm going to have to cut out of here. Look at this, all the great colors. Cut over here, and you got a great background. So never be intimidated. And like I said, you can find animals, you can find a piece of cake, you can find whatever you want, letters. Look how gorgeous this is with all the flowers. You can cut that out as your background. So don't, uh, you know, don't get nervous. Just do it. You will find that you will, it, you'll get addicted. You'll get addicted. Okay, so here I got these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and cut it out while I'm waiting. Just gonna cut out this little tree right here. Let me move this back. Okay. Now this is my. These are my um, 
good fabric scissors. I probably shouldn't use those. Now look, we got a great thing of vellum. You could paint over and do your own face on there, right? Put some paint. Maybe I'll do that real quick after we're done here. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and just cut around just a little bit. You can cut in and really fussy cut that and get like all the texture of those brush, but I, I'm not gonna. All right, and we can lay. Now I know that my card's only gonna be this. So I'm just gonna give it a quick cut. I'm gonna kind of measure it on as I'm doing this. Okay, and then I have a little tree, but the little tree isn't going to pop out that much because of the background is so dark. So what am I going to do? Because that didn't come out how I wanted it, but I'm just going to kind of add it so I still get that purple. But when I wipe it off, it's a little lighter. Now I'm going to keep this on here because I love that dark on there because I can work from here, but obviously that one the stencil didn't work. So never give up. Never think that you you can't do it or that you uh, messed up or whatever because this is what the fun of ATC cards is. You're making little pieces of art. You're collaging on little pieces of paper. So look, we can make that our tree. So I'll find my glue stick. And I'm gonna put it over on this side. I'm just going to stick it down. Now we could take white paint, which I probably will once it's fully dry, take white paint or silver or something around it, or even a lighter green and um, make it stick out a little bit more, a little white, little highlights. That's what you want to do. But if you don't want to do it, don't do highlights. <laughs> it's up to you. All right, now let me show you. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I want to let these dry, um, but I just want to show you some different ways to get your ATC started. Very, very simple. I'm going to try to find my book so I can show you guys all the ATCs. Now let's pretend, let's say you don't know how to draw faces. You don't like to draw faces. Maybe you don't want to sit and draw faces. I love drawing faces, so I don't have an issue with faces, but a lot of people don't like to. So we have Ellen's face, but I want to make kind of my own face. So I'm going to take out just a little bit of paint. I should shake it up. A little liquid come out of there, not what I want. I haven't been in here for days, so everything is kind of settled. Where if I'm in here all the time, everything's getting used. All right, so I'm going to take a little paintbrush. I'm going to put some paint on it, and I'm going to go over Ellen's just her face, nothing fancy. But I get to keep the shape of her face. And I can still see her eyes somewhat. And I'm obviously going to give her different hair, but it gives you your guide. It's like a template. Do a little bit of her neck. I'm not going to do ears because I'm going to put hair on her and I'm really not an ear doer. <laughs> I can do ears. I just don't care to. I'm not really good at it. Okay, now you can see we have her faint, her pa eh, face painted, hello. We're gonna leave that dry. And then I'm gonna take a very uh, thin brush, let's see. Um, mm -hmm. And probably, what color? What color do I want to do? Color. Huh. What color do I want to do? I don't know. I don't have it sitting here. Maybe that's why. Now you can use a pen at this point too. I'm going to use Bambi Brown and this is from Ceramicoot. Brand new. Now this is what I do. I don't usually open these. Uh, Secret did a video the other day I'd seen um, where she took staple remover, one of those little metal staple removers, and she stuck it, where'd she stick it? She stuck it where the hinge is to open it up. Um, 
I think that's fantastic. I don't happen to have staple remover. I don't understand why I don't. So normally I will take my uh, X-Acto knife or my scissors and do it much harder than probably she made it. And I just stick it down there and open it. Or half the time I don't even take that off. I just take the lid off and paint from the lid. So it's completely what you like. But that's just an, an idea. I'll put Secrets uh, channel down below as well. So you guys can go check out because she had a, that was a great tip she had. All right. So now we have our face and I'm just going to go in very lightly and do her eyebrows. I like this light too. That seems awfully dark. That seems way too light. I don't know which one off or on. I don't know. Let me know down below. Off or on. All right. So then I'm going to just do her eye and I'm just going to trace in there. Nothing. Remember, you're just making a face. Got her eyes. A little bit more. I'm going to do her lips first. And you're just tracing it. And remember, you can clean up everything at the end or clean up as you go. I like to have little Q-tips. I'm going to give her a little bit of shading. She looks kind of creepy. All right, and then I'm just going to kind of I'm going to cut her head off a little bit. And because we're doing using paint, we can really make it any way we want. And then I'm going to just kind of make this her neck. You'd probably use a bigger brush. And see, so you see this darkness? Let me show you. Why am I sticking to it? See the darkness in her neck right here? I can make that a necklace, so I'm not worried about that. So let's do this. That's my brush for a second. Draw on my brush. And let's add a little bit of red for her lips. I just always paint. I don't, I don't know. It's just to make, so you don't get gloopies. This, this little brush is a little old. And we're just doing her some lips. If you want to make her have a little bit of red in her cheeks, you can do that. Let's make her like a little sad clown. Why not? Now you can sit and make her pretty if you want. Of course you can. You can make her whatever you want. But you're getting that base drawing that so many people are nervous about. Don't be nervous. Let's do... A little bit of black and do the same thing. You can do gray, you can do whatever you want. She's not going to look like Ellen when we're done, let's just say that. But if you want her to and you want to, you know, continue. And make this a beautiful you can. Now look so far. What am I? St I must have glue down here. But look, a little just side crown. All right. Make her have darker eyebrows.
and I'm gonna give her a little ball news. See, you're just playing. Now let's give her eyes. I'm gonna do a bright color eye, probably the green I have sitting here. So it kind of pops. But you do whatever you want. And you can use permanent marker doing this too. You don't have to use paint. You can just draw on it with permanent marker. You know? And while that dries, let's do the hair. So we have to do, what about a, let's do a dark green hair. Let's do this color. Let's see. And this is just altering a photo, a, a magazine. Nothing fancy. This is just, I know I'm, you know, it, it, I just want to give you guys, so many of you are writing me how nervous you are for ATC cards. And all you're doing is making smaller art journal pages. Think of it that way, or smaller pieces of art. And these are different ways for those of you who do not like to draw, can't draw, don't want to learn to draw, like I said. So here we go. And I'm just going to make her have green, fluffy hair to start. I don't even know if it's a, a she anymore. Because I can go in and highlight this later. I just want you to see how different and how much. Now, I, when I ripped her out, I obviously ripped a lot out. But. All right. Now I'm going to take that small brush again. What did I do with the small brush? Here it is. I'm going to take a little bit of the dark green. I'm going to trace the eye. So that makes the green underneath pop. And then of course she needs a pupil. Which I can do that with a pen if I really wanted to. But since I got all my paint here. Let's do a little dot. Little dots. And then I'm gonna just cut out the now you could paint over the the um this part too. The body. Do you know what I mean? If you want to make the body. But look how different. I know I'm a little bit off camera while I'm cutting, I'm sorry. There we go. Now you can go in and you can clean up the white where you want it or anything else. And now we have a great a great little thing for the card. Now, obviously it's gonna be a little over the size. So you just go in and you trim, or you put this in your art journal. But I'm gonna put that there and then I'm gonna let it dry. And then the last video I do, it's gonna be um, how I'm gonna make her pop off the thing and what else we could do. Now, we oh gosh, excuse me. I'm gonna put uh, something around her neck to make her really good, or I'm gonna do a quote. I don't know yet, but what I do know is I'm gonna take some of my glue stick and I'm just gonna squiggle it all over. I'm gonna put her down and you can trim her down a little bit more if you want. Like if you want her to be a little bit, you know, higher up or whatever, it's up to you. Lay her down. Some of the green's coming off because it's not all the way dry, obviously. Close your glue stick because, like me, you'll have 12 of them that are dried out. And I've got some glue on there, but look. And that's where we're at so far. So I can go in and clean this up when it's dry and add a little bit more things. Do I want her nose to be red? I don't know. I can't quite decide. 
what did I do with my red paint? Let me see. Maybe I should make her nose red. This is like a sketchy kind of uh, clown. We're not talking about a clown you're going to see at the, uh, when we go to the circus, which I don't agree with. I don't like circuses, but you know what I'm saying. This isn't like Mr. Cute Kids Love Me Clown. Because I am not a cute kids love me kind of person. All right. Maybe we'll make the nose red. Yeah. Just give this a second coat. Now, you can make her the clown's eyes red. I mean, you can go all out. But I'm going to let her dry now because, or him, whatever it is. And then I'll do the next coat, and then that'll be done. But here's an ATC card, and we'll think of something creepy to put on there, or flowers, or dead flowers. I don't know what we'll do, but we'll do something. Skulls, get the eyes done, and the face, and sure everything up, and that's how quick. It's not, you know what I mean? So use these things as um, stencils, in a sense. I, I don't know if stencil is the right word, but uh, where you can kind of see already what's down, you paint over it and make it what you want. So that is that for that. And then I got the tree here, which is a nylash lash brush, which I think real quick, I'm going to take my brush again with the green. Cause this is a little bit more of a color green. Let me see if I can add over the black a little bit. Just kind of rub it in. So it takes some of that black off. Just lightly scratch it in. And then touch it with your finger to kind of blend it and get some of it up, but some, yeah, that's it. Look. All right, we're not going to clear out. There you go. I might just, we'll go in a little bit more with a little bit more of that black off. And then let it dry. So, very cool. Very glad. So, let me know down below what you think. Let me know if you're doing ATC cards. Dion Campbell. I saw your comment. I haven't answered comments yet, although I have read them all um, about you getting your stuff together for your ATC cards. You see, I don't have any stuff I had to get together, girl. I want to see you do an ATC card. I love your work. So, as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Uh, that is the truth. That could not be more, uh, any more true. It has been a rough, horrible month for me, and... Um, Today, I finally came back on and read some really sad news about a friend of mine who I was becoming very good friends with, and I watched her all the time. So, you know, be kind to each other, really. And, and for people that, I can't say it enough, for the people that you love and that you care about, let them know, because you never know. You never know what's going to happen. So I love you all so very much, and I'm so thankful and blessed. And thank you for all the emails checking on me. I am fine. I know I've not been on here for days. Um, just got a lot going on. Um, and, uh, I'll do a vlog coming up, but I just wanted you guys to, you know, I wanted to do the second part of the ATC. It's a little longer than I wanted to do, but I just wanted to play a little bit and, uh, show you guys that, it, you know, with, with the questions that I've been getting, you know, just to show you guys that we can definitely play. Maybe we'll do Oprah next time. Who knows? So leave me a thumbs up if you like seeing different, uh, art styles being done. Like I did the jelly plates in different ways to use watercolor and that type of thing. And even to make in your own jelly plate with fun foam. We're doing the ATCs now. I have pen pastels coming up. Um, a lot of different things coming up. So let me know what you guys would like to see. And as always, I love you guys and I hope you all have a great week. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.